Thieves stealing from a Colorado adaptive athlete, but what they took is more than just her personal possessions. Denver Sense Colette Bertillon explains why the athlete is unsure if she can compete this year after losing access to the sport she loves. Ooh, they got new styles. Julia Beckley could spend all day inside of Runner's Roost. I did get a heart rate monitor to versus just having the watch. Making sure she has everything she needs before a big race. I've told you about my foolproof anti-blister remedy. Chatting with her coach. So underneath my socks, I wear two pairs of women's nylons. <laughs> her laugh is contagious. She hates being called an inspiration, but there are so many people have seen her story and it goes much deeper than the fact that she is in a wheelchair. I have a degenerative set of bone diseases that make it really easy to stress fracture and really easy to break. But Beckley has raced in more than 30 competitions. I always have a big smile because the alternative option is that I'm sitting in an ICU somewhere. Many of those smiles were in her lime green chair. Its name was Tequila Lime. When she came home last Wednesday in Longmont, her garage was open. Immediately, I looked for the chair. But it was gone. Being down here is a little hard because I'm grieving a little bit about what I want to be doing. She should be training for her next race or helping young athletes learn the sport. What did this do to your racing season? Do you even have one at this point? Probably not. It is a piece of equipment that means nothing to anybody but Julia. Her coach knows Beckley better than to think she'll stop racing. There you go. We're going to get through this. We're going to move forward. We're still going to hit our goals. She's working to get a new chair, even though it'll take a long time, because what she gets out of racing is irreplaceable. I feel like I belong. I feel like I have hope. And that's to me what was taken away that night. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7. Colette, thank you. If you have any information about the chair, call Longmont Police. In the meantime, Beckley will head to Atlanta to be fitted for a new chair. And if you'd like to help, there's a link to her GoFundMe page on Denver7.com.